picture is worth a thousand words. Actually, in statistics, a graph is worth a million points, a billion points, even more. Graphs are very important because graphs can summarize vast amounts of information in just a plot, a graphical display. In this video, I'll show you the most popular ways of representing your data into a graph. Histograms are used when you have just one numeric variable and you want to know the distribution of the data. In that case, what you plot is the frequency of each one of the values in the sample. For instance, the graph about the lawyer's salary in the US is actually a histogram. It's basically a percentage or a frequency or a proportion of each one of the different salaries that a lawyer can make. When you want to represent the relationship between two numerical variables, what we use is something called the scatter plot. The scatter plot is useful to understand the relationship between different variables. This graph here, we show the relationship between the income and life satisfaction or happiness. And it's interesting that you can see that the more you earn, the happier you are. But actually, the curve gets saturated very early. And even if you get massive amounts of increase in your income, that doesn't reflect in an actual increase in your life satisfaction. When you have one numerical variable and one categorical variable, what you usually use are bar plots. Bar plots show difference between categories. For instance, you have categories A, B, and C, and each one of the categories have several measurements, and you want to compare the difference between them. So you compute the mean of each one of these groups, and then you add to the bars a measure of dispersion, which can be the variance, the standard deviation, of something called the standard error. For instance, in this graph here, we're showing the average, the mean tip per day of the week in some data. What we observe is that as you approach the weekend, the tips are higher. Important, bar plots are getting in this use in favor of something called box plot. Box plot is, again, a sort of graph that you use when you have one numerical variable and one categorical variable. But instead of using the mean and a measure of dispersion like the variance or standard deviation, what you compute is the mean, the first and third quartile, as we discussed in the previous video, and the minimum and the maximum, which the difference define the range. Then there are ways of finding out which of your data points are actually outliers, but that's something we are not covering in this course. This box plot here shows the UK drivers killed per month before the compulsory use of belts and after the compulsory use of belts. Please take this advice. Never, never, ever use pie charts. Pie charts are the evil instrument that businessmen and politicians use to trick you. So if you want to write a serious paper with some statistical component on it, never use a pie chart. So going back to this graph, the question from a statistical point of view is that, okay, we observed a difference. So apparently before bells were compulsory, there were more deaths per month that after the bells were made compulsory. But the question is, is this different real? So that's the topic for next week. I hope I convinced you this week that the statistics is not only useful, but very important. In the next week, we will cover a bit more technical details on how to do a statistical testing. Please don't forget to do the assess quiz that is in Moodle. Uh, this counts towards your final mark. And next week, we will be covering the important topic of the design of experiments. See you next week.